Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, improvisations. Um, something original actually was uh, inspired by this article here by um, Gappy Facets. Um, I found this quite interesting and funny, even though it's not like like really beautiful. But uh, I'm thinking to make a procedural poop. So procedural poop. Um, we basically need uh, some kind of procedural um, procedural poop shader at some point. So this guy also provide the shader for it. And in order to make this, I found that you probably need to um, use like meta balls, perhaps if it's like uh, more like liquid. But if it's um, it sometimes appears like this as well. So it, I did a bit of uh, quick research and. Yeah, so I think the one that we can create is probably something like this. This one's probably like two liquids, like um, I don't know, meta balls kind of thing. But this guy maybe we can create. Um, so yeah, let's just uh quickly create a procedural poop. Is it gonna be like um semi procedural because I will be using grease pencil? But yeah, let's get started. I found that even though like. Um, my works are not like uh, as realistic as Blender Guru donuts or cups. At least I make some original works. Um, that's what I always try to aim for. So yeah, for the procedural poop, you can actually start with a spiral of some sort, but maybe not too, not too perfect, you know. And just make it slightly like that just like a spiral and we're gonna go to compositing spare chalk and we're gonna use the GP trick and just grab our grease pencil okay and we get spiral we're gonna save this real quick save it into what's today's date 2017 probably I can save it here Oh well, just save it here. SP procedural. Poop. It's actually a semi procedural one. Um, that's okay. Let's, uh, in order for this to shape the poop a little bit better, we're gonna use vector rewire. And not rewiring the spider like that, but it's more like uh, using scalar. And use range float with the count between 0 and 1, we're gonna generate. A couple of value so this is really depending on how many points we have for the poop but I think that's pretty good and we can simply pipe this into skin measure which is like a, just like a skin modifier and pipe in the edges turn on live and we started to get something that looks a bit like poop just increase the thickness okay so that's kind of a uh, it's kind of the idea doesn't need to be perfect of course this is just a poop randomize randomize input vertices this should give it some kind of a uh, characteristic not too much but that's already uh, looking pretty good I guess Okay, so we can still control this guy right here. Um, linear, uh, this can be linear or can be actually a little bit um, better if you use easing, um, easing function here. And just pick one that actually work. Quadratic, cubic, cubic is in maybe. Yeah, I think that seems pretty good and we can adjust the radius. Maybe a little bit flatten, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's quite alright. Uh, so yeah, we started with just a grease pencil spiral and we already get this uh, poop looking object. So the next thing we want to do is to add uh, some kind of Voronoi fracture on top of this. So let's do that real quick. So object in. Get this guy right here. 
post modifier. Uh, this guy we can hide it because it's kind of like intermediate objects. This poop is intermediate object. It's not like complete yet. So continue on. With this guy right here, we're gonna use a script node, light, get a Voronoi, 3D, and bring this guy in as an input. So at this point, it's looking something like this. But we can do better. We're gonna kind of add some kind of uh, details like crack, things like that. So yeah, we, we need to kind of source back the, the grease pencil and bring it into this guy. So again, control space, GP, get our grease pencil, active frame, and with this guy, we're gonna increase the details a little bit more and then randomize it. So randomize input vertices somewhere in here so it's gonna be a little bit more random and we're just gonna care about the points we don't need the edges so this point is gonna be for our for noi uh, points to kind of break uh, break our poop uh, just bring these points into this guy like that so Vorono is doing its job and as a result we should get um, this result so a little bit broken up so I think this is already a little bit better it's not uh, not perfect but that's okay we can always tweak it um, anytime um, so Let's just make this like 0.27. It's kind of like a scattering these points. So this this guy right here will looks a little bit better. The bounding actually. Let's give it like a value like 35. Okay, that's a. Uh, that's probably better now. It's kind of broken up. And so we are almost done. Um, let's just bake this guy out. You see, this guy is still a single object and it's looking pretty okay. And if you want to add more detail, just kind of um, do the opposite of uh, just add displacement. I think displacement, and then if you use like a Musgrave, it's gonna look much better. Um, here we can probably smooth it or add subdivision surface up there. And just make them kind of overlapping and then I, I, I add some detail and smooth it as well. So that's probably the Vorno is probably too much, but probably it's probably okay. It's probably not too bad. And we let's bring this into layer one so we can see the progress. Okay, so this is probably looking like uh, the poop emoji. We just need some kind of eyes. Yeah, this part probably has too much details. Uh, I actually don't mind the middle one, um, but this Voronoi really adds some kind of details. And if you if you are using the shader, uh, let's get the shader from that file. Actually, uh, let's see. Okay, I've, I I have this Ackerman shader, so let's get it. File append from that blend file. Just get the the object shader. There's this Ackerman banana and Ackerman roll. Just grab both of them. It's gonna bring the shader together with it. Okay, so this guy is actually quite interesting as well. If you look at it, this guy uh, used the simple deform and spiral. 
I think Twist is pretty clever. Anyhow, this guy, um, let's give it a shader, some kind of shader. Let's just pick um, this one. And there's another one as well. And give it a quick render. Probably, let's do this as well. The shader itself actually um, looking pretty complex. It's quite interesting to study this. But basically, a lot of uh, mass grave being used. Mass grave texture and there's dirt shader for the coloring. I think it's working pretty well. Probably not like super realistic. Uh, there's probably like need some kind of tweaking, but it's not too bad. Um, let's give it some area light. It's not gonna be realistic like Blender Guru, but it's not bad. As, at least give it a try, you know. And quick render and see if this is working. So this guy, of course, uh, still being pretty rough. And let's see, I need probably to use a GPU because I'm kind of recording as well. Emissions, give it like 250. And this guy, ambient occlusion tends to make things very flat, maybe not too much. Point one. But you get the idea, I think with better lighting, maybe environment light, this kind of looks pretty convincing. Um, yeah, so that's uh, probably uh, one way you you might be able to approach the creations of procedural poop. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful and we maybe at some point, instead of making some things like beautiful, you, you make something pretty shitty as well. And if someone says it's, it's pretty shitty and then that's actually like a compliment for you. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.